Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Donkey Kong 64. Last time, we entered Angry Aztec, where Candy Kong taught us how to play with our instruments, and then we scoured the desert for Diddy Kong's golden bananas. Today, we're pretty much going to do the same thing, but with Donkey Kong. But first, we're going to visit Cranky Kong because he's a lonely old man who needs the company. Also, he does have another ability for DK. I could have taken the number 3 teleporter if I wanted to go straight to him real quick, but as you can see if we take the long path here, Donkey Kong has a few yellow coins that aren't too far off the beaten path, so why not just go after them? Alright, so I made it through this narrow path without falling down when I went through with Diddy Kong. Let's see if I can do it again with DK. Nice and easy, and there we go. Alright, so once again, this being Donkey Kong's second potion from Cranky, it only cost five coins, and we get Strong Kong. Which apparently smells and tastes terrible. Anyway, it's pretty much DK's star power. It turns him invincible. All you have to do is find a barrel with Donkey Kong's face on it. We actually saw one in the last episode, but it was transparent because we didn't have the ability yet. And he'll remain invincible until you either run out of crystal coconuts or you hold down the Z button and press C left in order to deactivate it. If you're wondering how we're going to get Diddy Kong's final 10 bananas, this ability of DK's is the key. Anyway, don't forget those two yellow balloons. They can be a little easy to miss because the camera is zoomed in so close and they're up high out of your field of view. Anyway, remember that llama from the last episode who is being very impatient with us rescuing him? Well, he's finally going to get his wish. But first, I want to go behind this temple, and you probably already saw why. Let's see, is it going to end up here? There we go. I hope, I probably could have gotten that in one shot. Anyway. Now we need to head down into this pad right here and launch ourselves up for another barrel cannon minigame. And I take back what I said in our first barrel cannon minigame. Remember when I said that there's always collectibles up in these things for DK? I was wrong. As you can see, there is none here. This is simply go from barrel cannon to barrel cannon until we hit this DK star marker. And hitting that marker actually serves two purposes. One, as you can already see, it frees this llama from his cage, and he's so grateful that he leaves an old banana, as he called it. Come to think of it, I'd imagine that some of the bananas at the very bottom of DK's banana hoard actually are pretty old. Probably old to a point where you wouldn't really want to eat them anymore. I wonder if Donkey Kong actually does eat the bananas in his banana hoard, or does he just collect them with no plans whatsoever of using them for their original intended purpose? You know, kind of like people who buy amiibo. Never really understood why people do that with them. Come to think of it, I don't even understand why people really are that into amiibo. I've looked at them. Um, I guess they can unlock some neat things. I just haven't found a game yet that uses amiibo in a way that merits the $12 price tag. That's ridiculous. Um, I went through that with my kids and Skylanders. I'm not going to do it again. Anyway, as you saw from the cutscene when we entered this area, we will be rescuing Lanky Kong. And we have a new enemy right up these steps, the Big Clap Trap. If you try to attack him with normal attacks, he will hurt you. The only way to take him out is just like that. Just throw an orange grenade at him. And that, most of the time, is easier said than done, considering that they're very low to the ground and the orange arcs when you throw it. So, the game decides to use real-world logic and physics in that situation, but a llama hocks a loogie in lava, and it turns it into nice cool water. You would think that that wouldn't work that way, considering that saliva is supposed to be warm. Now, if it was done by a pirate seal with ice breath like it was in DKC2, that would make sense. Anyway, once we pound on this switch... A cave opens up, and we get access to a new area that is completely covered in quicksand. 
And that cutscene was in real time, apparently, since that big claptrap had time to respawn. There's actually quite a few moments in the game like that, where you'll come out of a cutscene or out of a teleporter, and you'll appear right on top of an enemy, and since there's a slight delay before you're able to input controls again, they'll get a free hit in on you. And there is a giggly, sparkly thing in that room that we can't do anything about yet. So we'll be coming back for that a little later. In the meantime, we'll just swim through this cave in the giant pool of llama spit. And there's our new character. Let's just shoot this coconut switch. And we have freed Lanky Kong, who unlike Tiny, I don't believe is related to any other character in the DKC universe. I guess you can link him to Mankey Kong, who was actually an enemy character in the original Donkey Kong Country. But anyway, when we take control of him, we'll be using him to run around and gather blue bananas and other blue MacGuffins. As you can see, there's already a blue balloon floating around in there, so we'll have to return to the area here in order to get that with Lanky Kong. More blue bananas there. Yeah, we'll be all over this place with Lanky. But for now, let's just keep focusing on DK. And our next destination is that temple with all of the ammo switches that we unlocked with Diddy Kong, and we'll go, we'll go there as soon as I find out where the jump button is. You! You need to die so I can get my melon back. Would you- come on- I didn't say take another one. No, 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 get out of the- Hmm... Okay, now it's a vendetta. You need to die. Give me that melon. I'm just gonna let you run around until you crumble. Go away, Zinger. Don't drop a bomb on me. Alright, so there's no collectibles around this temple for Donkey Kong, so we'll just go ahead and shoot his coconut switch and head inside the temple. Would have been real convenient if you kept the gun out, DK. Whatever. And as usual, I can never remember which way to go, but I'm going to check both sides anyway to see if there's anything that I can get. I really need to memorize that. Let's take this guy out. Nope. Aim better. I'm trying to bounce it off the wall, and it's not working. Okay, run. Run. And over here. Ah. Uh, whatever. Nothing over there, just some crystal coconuts. I can get them elsewhere. But there is another enemy over there called Kaboom. They're Kremlings in TNT barrels. They'll charge at you, and if they make contact, they explode. So stay away from them. I mean, I, I guess if there was something really, really important over there that I absolutely had to have, you can kill them from a distance with oranges. Explosions. They're the answer to all the world's problems. And that's obviously not the way we want to go. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy. And I'm pretty sure the golden banana is right around this corner. There it is. And those items you see right there, that's film. Obviously, it goes inside of a camera. But we don't have a camera yet. We'll get one. We'll get one real soon. Actually, right after we're done with Angry Aztec. And then we'll be back here with that camera. Because that's how we deal with the sparkling giggling thing that you saw in the last temple we were in. We definitely want to get all of those, required if we're going for 101%. It also unlocks a bunch of cool things in the menu. Unfortunately, one of those things is not the increased ability to pay attention to where I'm going. But still, some pretty cool stuff, and I'll be trying to show off most of it, because some of it involves multiplayer, so... I'll try to show off multiplayer, no promises. Let's go ahead and kill this critter for some more health. Actually, I'm surprised I didn't mention this before, but if you go into a tag barrel, even if you stick with the same Kong, simply going into the tag barrel and coming right out of it will completely top you off on health. So that's a good thing to remember if you are low on health and in a pinch and there's no melons anywhere around. But... This is the Strong Kong ability, and it makes you completely invincible so long as you have some crystal coconut. So we can just walk through this quicksand like it is nothing, and through this path is a bonus barrel. Welcome to bonus stage. 
And this bonus stage is Stealthy Snoop, pretty much Metal Gear Kong up in here. And the object of this bonus game is to make it to the end of this tiny maze without being seen by the enemy. So you see the enemy with their flashlights, stay out of the light, and you are good. Uh, one thing that you do want to watch out for, especially when you're walking through narrow hallways, is sometimes they turn around in a full 360 degree motion. Other times, they just do a complete 180 in a single frame of animation and catch you completely off guard. It can also get tough if it's your first time playing through the game and you don't know your way through the maze and you're rushing because there's a time limit. But we did pretty well there and as a reward we get another golden banana for Donkey Kong. And with that, the other number 5 teleporter appears so now there is no need for us to use Strong Kong to go back the way we came. We can conserve on our crystal coconuts which I'll top off here. And we will be using this teleporter a little later with Diddy Kong to go back into that cave. Because as you may have seen when we went through the first time, his red balloon is there. And that is how we will get his last 10 bananas. And that's the last of the collectibles in this area. So now we're going to be headed back to the beginning area of Aztec Ruins because as you may remember, the first time we passed through, we used our coconut gun to open up a room that was filled with quicksand. You may also remember that there was a transparent Donkey Kong barrel there. Now that we have the Strong Kong ability, that quicksand means absolutely nothing to us. So we'll be headed back into that area. And as you can see from these blue bananas popping in, we will be returning to this very hallway with Lanky Kong when we take control of him. Get out of my way, I don't want you bothering me. Anyway, we are completely full on Crystal Coconut, so we should have plenty of time. Let's go ahead and head into the back here for two more banana bunches. And that makes 100 bananas for Donkey Kong. Let's get... I said, let's get up onto the mm, camera work with me. Come on, there we go. And since we're invincible, we'll just sit here and beat on this Chris Blatt until he drops DK's blueprint. There we go. And with his blueprint collected, that pretty much does it for Donkey Kong and Aztec Ruins, at least until we go to Snide's HQ and turn in all the blueprints. So with that out of the way, I'm going to jump into this tag barrel and I'm going to switch over to Lanky Kong. And to be perfectly honest with you, how much time do I have left? About 13 minutes in. Yeah, so probably no golden bananas for Lanky Kong today. I will probably be focusing the remainder of this video on just collecting his power up so he already has them and then we could just circle around Aztec ruins and streamline his hunt for golden bananas. I'm simply coming into this hallway real quick because the only thing here are uh, just five blue bananas and there's no other reason to come back in this area with him. So yeah, I just don't want to backtrack through there. It's not, it's uh, counterintuitive to time management. Although, the later stages in the game, everything gets really far spread out. I'm probably going to have to uh, figure out a good streamlined route so you're not watching me do a bunch of backtracking. But anyway, there's some coins right there, so I'm just going to come into Funky Kong, spend three of my five coins on Linky's weapon, the Grape Shooter. And I like how Funky Kong makes a machine gun motion there in spite of the fact that none of the weapons we get in this game are fully automatic. They do get homing properties later on, but sometimes those are more of a hindrance than anything else. You'll see why. Anyway, let's teleport on over to Cranky's lab. Gather up four more coins over here, so that gives Lanky a total of six, and this being Lanky Kong's first potion in the game, it only costs three, which means that we'll still have three left over for whatever Candy Kong gives us. 
But from Cranky Kong, we get the orang stand. Doesn't roll off the tongue very well, but it's exactly what it sounds like. It lets Lanky Kong do a handstand when he needs to and stretch his arms out just for you. No, just, just the handstand part. Anyway, just like with Diddy's Timpy Charge, it uh, activates by holding down the Z button and pressing B. And it allows us to climb up steep hills so we can access areas that only Lanky Kong can access. Oh, why the hell did I do that? Just spin and fall in right out the door. Go there goes my streak of not falling into the quicksand near Cranky's lab. Anyway, this is the orang stand, and you can stay in this position so long as... So long as you hold the Z button. And I figured instead of using the teleporter to get a shortcut to Candy Kongs, I'm just going to go along this path as long as I'm here because Lanky has some blue bananas and I don't think he has anything else in this area. So we'll just head straight on over to Candy's and combat wise, I love Lanky. He has that far stretch so when he spins, he just smacks the crap out of enemies all around him and it's real nice. And as far as speed and strength and jumping ability, he's very middle ground. So he, he's got the most balanced stats of all of the other Kongs. Anyway, we get Trombone Tremor from Candy. And that pretty much gives Lanky all of the abilities that he can get here in Aztec Ruins. So now that we have Lanky all powered up and he can access all of the different places here, we'll start focusing on gathering up all of his golden bananas. And what better place to start than this first temple since it's right here in the opening area. And to open up the door for Lanky, we just need to locate his switch around the corner here, position ourselves, pull out the grape shooter, let one rip, and that opens up the front door for us to go inside. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show, and have a one that is good.